Director Jeffrey, good morning. My name is Lena and I was just listening to your speech on the cooling technology and found it very insightful. Can you please borrow some of your time for more in-depth speech? Yeah, definitely. Alina, I'm happy to meet you. Fringe has always been dedicated to the center industry, and we are really glad to get feedback from experts like you in the market. So, um, firstly, could you please briefly introduce Friend? I know that you're well known in the thermal management field, but what about your specific technical directions? Yeah, Friend has strong brand in the market, and uh, Friend was founded in 23. We started to provide the seek and the stranger to Huawei and Sangro. So nowadays, we have been one-stop thermal solution provide all over the world. Our headquarters are in Shenzhen, and we have four manufacturing plants in China. Just last year, we developed a new liquid cold plant for that center. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So your classic example of transitioning from traditional cooling to high-end sophisticated area, right? Yes, you're right. So what are your main product lines currently? Um, we've got three main series. Mm -hmm. uh, the first is our traditional air product. I uh, think like HeatSeek include uh, extruded HeatSeek mm -hmm. and uh, skived HeatSeek, head pub HeatSeek mm -hmm. and uh, head changer. The second is the fast change cooling model, mainly used in GPU and AR training equipment. Mm -hmm. And the third is the liquid cold plant series we are developing these years. This uh, support heat dissipation density of 100 kilowatt per rack. Okay, that's great. So you can see this is a skill series, for example, is already widely used in the series data center. So um, liquid cooling is indeed a hot topic in the industry. How do you balance cost and uh, performance? It's a good question. Our material on the material side, we have an excellent copper supply chains in China that help us keep cost competitive without promising on quality. As for manufacturing, we rely, we rely on mature techniques like skiving and cold brazing, backed by automatic inspection system. That way, we maintain high reliability while keeping process cost more competitive in the industry. So, what are your views on the future trends in of cooling products? We see two key trends in industry, I think. Mm -hmm. First is rising power density. We are closely track the latest cooling demand for GPU and CPU makers like uh, AMD and uh, IMDA. Second, uh, research and development new materials and process methods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you think, what will be the biggest challenges in the cooling field over the next three years? First, I think the material botnets is a very important issue for us. High thermal conductive interface materials are still expensive, such as copper. Second, attention changes like uh, move toward the various cooling solution driven by tablets technology, yeah. And finally, the lack of a standard, a liquid cooled system and the interface vary from one manufacturer to another. So all the companies in the industry should deal with that together. Mm -hmm. Other than a new generation of serve chips already exceed 1,000 watt in power mm -hmm. that really bring these changes to all the industries. So, absolutely. Thank you for sharing your ideas today. Can we explore the collaboration for our future project needs? Definitely. Uh, I think uh, it's very good, brilliant future for cooperation. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much.